Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we are going to go on a Russia PvP fully populated server or solo. The server is extremely paid to win and every single person on the server has a high rank, meaning that they have very OP kits including raiding kits, high tier PvP kits and even helicopter kits. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more solo versus paid to win server videos, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that goal, I will do more Russia PvP videos. Also subscribe if you haven't already, we are getting close to 31,000 subscribers. If you guys haven't checked out the 5 mythical giveaway, I urge you to check it out, the link will be in the description below. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we are rolling another one which is a Lucky Coins Vintage Helmet. To have a chance to win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Your members also have a higher chance to win so feel free to become a member by clicking on the join button. Introducing today's sponsor, Grace Online. This amazing MMORPG is a blast from the past with its old school art style and classic elements that evoke a sense of nostalgia amongst gamers. Dive into a world where you can create and customize your own characters, complete a lot of quests, battle unique creatures, explore many hidden secrets, craft a ton of potions and armor, and travel to new maps through the NPC path. Each NPC in Grace Online has their own unique goals, interests, and rewards, adding depth to the game's storyline. Shopkeepers allow you to purchase items sold by other players and you can engage in direct player-to-player -player trading. The crafting system allows players to create powerful and unique items using resources gathered from various events. But that is not all. Grace Online also boasts a vibrant community, offering many exciting live events, mechanisms for player-created quests, player-managed shops, and in-game communication tools such as bulletin boards. The developers are still fine-tuning the game during the beta phase, and they welcome any feedback that you guys may have. This game also does get frequent updates, with new content coming out very fast. Fast. If you have any ideas ranging from new skill suggestions, monster ideas and literally anything else, make sure to recommend them. Me personally, I have played this game and I actually really really enjoyed this experience, especially since I do not play MMORPGs that much. Be sure to check out the game Grace Online on Steam by clicking the link in the description below and embark on your own unforgettable in-game adventure. And let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, so I am on Russia. I have not played Russia in a very, very long time. Let me fix graphics. There's an airdrop passing by as well already. Now the server is full of players. Everybody is a villain. Everybody has a high rank. Everybody is either a VIP or even admins. You could buy admins on the server. So it's probably going to be quite a chaotic server. Now I'm pretty sure that there are kids, but I'm going to try not to use any kids actually. I'm going to try to do a legit, do a legit rack searches. There's already a guy there. There's some loot here. Crossbow. There's somebody shooting Peacemaker. There's another bow. Let's take the arrow out. I'm pretty sure there's like literally a Night Trader kit, Peacemaker kit. But I'm going to do it a bit challenging. I'm going to try to start off with a Master Key. There's a guy there. He didn't see me. Right, I'm going to push him. And he is dead. Right, he has a Schofield. Yeah, this is not the Peacemaker guy. Clouds are bigger than normal as well. Now my goals for the server is I'm going to try to pretty much just get fully geared. There's a helicopter down there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a guy. And yeah, there's a guy down there. But yeah, my goals are I'm going to try to get fully geared. I'm going to try to go to the dead zone. Try to build a base. Maybe do a raid. I don't know if raiding on the server will actually happen. Let's use the Schofield for now. I don't know where that guy went. Oh, the airdrop actually landed here. Okay. There's somebody shooting Night Trader, Peacemaker. Oh, there's a guy there. Okay, and yeah, the airdrop is still untouched. There's a billion drums. All right, yeah, everything is modded. Oh, he's dead. Night trade there. All right, I'm gonna start putting guns in vault. Let's go get the rest of the items from the airdrop. Oh, I'm getting shot at by an og. He's right over there. All right, wait, before we actually start killing, let me take... Dude, there's gas. Okay. Yeah, this is so OP, man. Already got gas masks and LE specs just from an airdrop. It's so big. All right, let me put guns in vault. Some magazines, night vision. Somebody's... There's a guy there. And I am dead. Okay. Well, that was a average start on the server. I spawned right here. Hold on, let me take a gun out from vault. I'm gonna try to kill him and then we'll just start heading north of the map where less people spawn. And he's right over there. He's probably looting me right now. Wait, is he even there? Oh no, he's back there. Oh, he's dead. He was killing somebody. But I think he killed him as well. That's good. Let's let's pick up the loot that he had. Yeah, night trade there. There's a naked there. Let's kill him. Let's take magazines. But we can already go to the dead zone if we want to. But first we should probably build a base. Alright, let's see that we didn't leave anything from the airdrop. There's a guy there. I accidentally fell. He's dead. We gotta kill everyone, man. Because kits, they're very easy to do. 
And plus, you may be a, a, an admin in disguise. Let's take attachments. Let's take some of the magazines and the both gas masks. We'll vault the gas masks. Let's put a drum in there. Actually, let's put an elise pack. Now, let's start heading north of the map. Maybe I'll build it a bit above Moscow. Wait, let's take the saber tooth. Very good gun. Alright, so I've managed to walk a bit up to the north. I'm between Moscow and Silo 22, which is good. I'm not gonna go to military base for now. Probably we might do it later. But our next goal is we're gonna start building a base, a 2 by one nothing too special. Somewhere to store all of this loot. And then afterwards, we're gonna go to the dead zone. Over the dead zone, we're gonna get the highest tier of loot. Maybe some raiding gear as well. But yes, on the server, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to actually raid. First of all, since everybody has a rank, a legend, or a god, or whatever... They're going to have extremely big vaults. So probably everything that is good, they're going to have it in vaults. So it's not going to be worth it. Plus, I'm pretty sure that there is base health. And I'm pretty sure that the admins or whatever, they probably don't even need to build a base. Because they could spawn anything in. But if we do get trading here, I'm still going to run around. And if we do find something to raid, we'll still give it a raid. But I can't guarantee any insane base trades on this server. Or any pay to win server, to be honest. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the base is done got myself three crates one bed two by one not that that's pretty much it we don't not gonna have anything good in here because we don't really we didn't really loot we only got all of this loot from actually pvping by the airdrop but yes now we're going to go farm the dead zone got myself the gas mask that i got from the airdrop i also emptied the vault so that we could leave them here and we'll have ourselves an empty vault got ourselves some pretty good guns already man like night trader and zubek they're Oh, there was a guy screaming in Russian. Oh, yeah, he has some, some pretty good loot. A couple of raw, some scrap. That's pretty nice. A lot of ammo. All right, let's go depot this. We need more crates already, man. Literally, <laughs> we need more crates again. They're all full. All right, boys, dead zone time. There's so many helicopters and planes here, man. It's crazy. All right, raw. Now, this server is five times loot. Makes sense. Now, what I'm going to be focusing on getting is uh, probably guns. And I'm gonna try to get myself full military as well. Raw explosives. Raiding gear of any sort. Right, did they drop anything good? I'm gonna take the raw explosives. There's a tech loaf cup, but yeah, I'm not gonna take that. Right, let's switch clothes. There we go. Full military achieved. Grenade. There's a Zubac. That's pretty good. Yuri Bulldog. Laser. Alright, now let's actually go check out the silo. This dude had another Zubac. That's pretty good. Alright, so if there's a mega zombie here, I'm gonna be very happy. Nothing good. Zubac. Another raw, another Zubac. Bro, so many Zubacs. Another raw there. Probably not gonna find anyone here, to be honest. Nobody comes looting here. Especially since they could just slash eye. God knows what they have in vault. Oh, there's a mega zombie as well. Yeah, inventory starting to get pretty full. Alright, he is dead. And he dropped some good load. Yeah, there's a detonator. Let's go. That's pretty much it. That's good, though. Some high kill. Nitrator, fussy lot. Alright, and we should be done. I'm not gonna take the HMG because I'm probably never gonna use it anyway. Yeah, we should get out of here because my filter is about to run out very soon. So I'm just gonna jump straight down. There's a raw in here. And then we'll home. I'm pretty sure home on the server is instant anyway. There's another detonator. Oh, lovely. It's an easy horde beacon. Grenade. Another grenade. Sniper is yeah, that's home. Oh, never mind. I don't have a bed. Alright, well, I got raided. I literally got traded in the five minutes I wasn't in base. Nice. And we are probably going to die because I don't have the extra gas musk on me. So we're going to have to run med ourselves. Yeah, we're going to start to die. Bro, almost at the edge, to be honest. We, we should make it. Then I'll just have to make a bad suicide. Go well, home, yeah. Start to med up. First one. Second one. Yeah, we're out. Okay, now we don't die that quickly. So we got to do a bed really quickly. I right, got myself kit start. Doesn't give us anything good. But we got enough cloth to make a bed. Right, put that there. Suicide. Now we home. And we got everything back. Uh, let's go back to base. See if I actually got raided or if I forgot to claim my bed. But I'm pretty sure I got raided. And we'll probably have to rebuild the base. Alright, yeah, I definitely got traded. There's literally just a pillar and a wall and the door here. Nice. They didn't even bother taking everything. Bro, they left all the guns here. And the gas mask as well. Okay. They left the metal till at least back. They pretty much just took the raw explosives. I think that's all they took. All right, well, we gotta build our base quickly before all of the slow down here despawns. Let me just take it. Stuff that's important so we don't actually lose them. All right, boys, and the base is done. Now, some stuff did despawn. I'm pretty sure I lost the saber tooth and some ammo, but it's fine. Let's make ourselves a door. Now, what I'm gonna 
get is a blowtorch so that I can actually start making lockers. So we're gonna have to go to Moscow, probably find some people over there. But we, we desperately need it right now. Even if we want to make C4, which we can already, we still need glue anyway. So might as well get glue from there. All right, blowtorch, let's go. I'm going to put that straight in vault. I don't want to die with it. I got shot. It's right, med up. But whoever shot me is with a muffler. And I have no idea from where that was. I'm pretty sure he shot me with like a, a, a Schofield or a Hawkhound. Because it didn't give me that much damage. Alright, let's go up on this hill. He's probably gonna think that I'm running away. But we'll, then we'll kill him. Unless he is on the hill, I have no idea where he is. There's a heli. Dude, there's so many helis everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's just helis. Pretty sure it's like a, an admin kit or something. Oh, I saw him. He's chasing me down. And he is dead. Alright, now let's go down. Let's check out what he had. If it is the same guy. And he had... Uh, yeah, Schofield, Cobra. Bunch of meds. We'll take the meds. Let's we'll strip the Schofield for the attachments. Drop the muffler. Alright, and we could leave. We got enough glow. We got ourselves the blowtorch. We can make C4. We are back. Right, let's take all of the grenades, all of the metal. Let's unstack the metal. Take all the raw, the grenades. Alright, first we need to take... The blowtorch out so we can make it into bars let's make a couple i made okay i made nails and a can by mistake i right, got some wire some more wire sticky charge sticky charge ourselves two c4 till now and we've been on the server for like 45 minutes pretty good speed run and we didn't use any kits except for kit start all right another sticky and another charge the third charge right, let's drop these we'll put the charges there maybe it's time for another dead zone run actually Alright, so I made some lockers as well. I'm putting the high tier loot in there. We'll take the gas mask and let's go for the second dead zone run. I'll be focusing on getting the same loot as the first time. Raw explosives, grenades, guns, all of that. Hopefully this time my base doesn't get raided in the five minutes that I'm away. Alright, we are done. I looted everywhere. I uh, didn't get that much good loot this time. Got myself like four raw, a couple of grenades, do back. But we got ourselves a second, another detonator. It's our third detonator. I'm gonna make myself some more C4. I'm pretty sure I can. Let's take, let's make some wire, sticky charge, sticky charge, and we got ourselves five total charges. Perhaps it's time to start looking around for maybe some small wooden bases. I doubt we'll find, because they're probably already raided, but who knows, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Well, I am dead. There's people right in front of me, but there was a guy roof camping on, on that brick base. I was just chilling, running through. He has maple strike. Yeah, I'm gonna use the kit now, I don't care. There's people going there, though. We're climbing up the ladder, and there's a heli. There's another brick base. Every single base we find are brick. And we need, like, 10 charges or more to raid even one wall. And it'll probably be empty anyway. There's a guy there. Oh, he's dead. There's a loot pile up there. A nitrate there. I will take all of the guns. There's a guy there. Oh, he's dead. The guy seemed fully geared. Let's take the ice back. I'm pretty sure I heard steps inside the base. I'm getting shot at. Alright, he's dead. Let's take the nitrate there. Oh, two heartbreakers, drums as well. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we killed the guy roof camping. There's another guy there. The guy just did the kit. So he probably has a nitrator kit or some admin kit or something. I don't know. I'm getting shot at. He's dead. Alright, let me load them and then we'll home. Oh, we just found ourselves an unrated metal base, a small one. We're obviously gonna give it a go. We got ourselves five charges. Hopefully it's enough. Usually it takes three charges for a metal wall, but it might take a bit more, maybe four charges. But first we'll put three. We'll put the normal amount. Hopefully this one is gonna have good loot. That's not an admin base. Yeah, it didn't break. Alright, we'll put ourselves the fourth charge. Oh yeah, it was enough. Okay, and there is... One locker, not even beds, okay. Broke and... Uh, nice, okay, yeah. This is what you expect from these kind of servers. A spotlight. And there goes our five charges. Alright, so what I'm probably gonna do is, at the bottom there's way more PvP than up here. And I think the easiest way to get loot on these kind of servers is to actually PvP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the nitrate there and the elise back in vault. And some ammo. And we're gonna suicide. So, oh, there's a guy coming. Is he? I think he's naked though. What? Oh, yeah, he's coming. Oh yeah, he has a Chris Karak. Alright, bro, calm down. Let's get ourselves this kit, kit Viper. Headshot, headshot, headshot. And he's dead. Alright, bro. 
Do you have anything? Okay. <laughs> Alright, also you're gonna do what I wanted to do. I'm gonna suicide and we're gonna spawn. And we're gonna try to kill as much people as possible. And get their guns. Alright, so we take Nitrator out. This is how to play pay to win servers, boys. Yeah, this is where I killed those guys earlier. Maybe the owners are gone. They're no longer roof camping. There's a guy there. He's dead. He was shooting up here, so... Yeah, the owners... I'm getting... And he's dead as well. There's Maple Strike. Og, lovely. Bunch of meds, chainsaw, it's med up. Now I'm gonna put the Og in vault so that we can actually get something from this. Chainsaw, some attachments. Alright, we still gotta loot this guy over here, the first guy that I killed. Anything good? Peacemaker, some ammo, some clothes. Nothing that good though. Alright, that guy's that guy is bad, bro. He has Maple Strike and he's roof camping and I'm sitting in the open. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna probably just head back straight to base. Well, Alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. After that, I did head off the server. In an hour and a half, I did a pretty much good progression, especially since the fact that the server is extremely paid, so when you could buy admin, etc. But yeah, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, where we just go on a pay to win server, and we kill as much people as possible as a solo, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!